Today I'm working on a shop rider six mile an hour scooter. Uh, this scooter's just come in. Customer stated that uh, it's become very jerky. One minute it'll go, one minute it won't. When she presses the lever to go forward here, uh, nothing happens and it suddenly it takes off like a rocket. So I've got it in free wheel. I'm spinning it. The motor is spinning, but it is very noisy coming from the back end. Um, let me try it in reverse. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any problem at present. It seems to be driving okay. Hang on. Yeah, it's not moving at all now for some odd reason. Let me switch it off and switch it on again and see what happens. Set at maximum. Okay, audible beep. One minute the motor's working, now it's not. Audible beeping tone tells us there's an electrical problem there somewhere. I personally think there's a problem inside the motor due to the customer stating the symptoms. One minute it'll go, then it won't. You press the lever, it won't move, it will go slow, it won't move, and then it will take off like a rocket. Now the motor was working, and now all of a sudden it won't. So let me switch this off. What I'll do is I'll remove the body panel and check the brush units on the motor and we'll see how we go from there. To lift the panel off, you just get straight up the section come off quite easily, it's just held on with Velcro. Now the motor is located here. We can see the motor here. And what I'm going to do, that's a brush unit housing here. There's one brush unit here and there, and there's another one in the back there. So what we want to do is we want to take the, the end cap, which is the dust cap, off. I'm going to remove this battery here, take it off and have a look at the brush unit, and then we're going to see uh, the condition of it. Just removing the battery here. So I can gain access to the dust cover of the brush unit. So I'll just remove the, the dust cover here. Oh, it's tight. Uh, let's have a look, see what's happening here. Okay, I think we can see that this brush in it, it's a 43, is well worn and there's also kind of burn marks on here. So that's a, a worn brush in it. This is how a new one should look like. You can compare the two. You know, it's worn, but what's concerning me is the burn marks here, most likely. There's also the motor is worn slightly. Or oh, it's uh, the motor housing here is a little bit wider. You can see it's it's not worn properly in the centre, like this one should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side out as well and just double check that. We'll also look inside the motor to have a look at the colour of the commutator. The commutator is the bit that's inside the motor. Um, that the brush unit goes against that should be kind of golden in color it shouldn't be black which i presume this one will be if that is the case what we need to do is we need to strip the motor clean the commutator inside there so i'm going to remove the the dust cover here as we're in water getting into the main controller which is here now I need to remove this rear spring to gain access to the brush unit housing Now that we've taken the spring off, we'll be able to gain access to have a look at the other brush unit housing here. It is tight again. 
very tight so shouldn't really be usually as tight as that but I believe it's maybe due to the heat build up inside the brush unit and this brush unit itself is a little bit more oh I mean look at that I mean that's a old one new one yet yeah, again it's wearing bad so you got this one needs definitely new brushing so let's have a look inside here okay now that I've removed the brush unit housing I'm actually looking inside where the brush unit will be now as I said to you before the color of the commutator which is inside the motor here which I can view from here should be kind of golden in color it should not be black now if I shine my torch in here I don't know if you can see it but yeah I think it's difficult it is black in color really really bad difficult to see I will need to there's a lot of build up of inside this motor here there's a lot of build up of carbon we need to blow that out with the air compressor with air because uh, that will be a build up and that carbon then will eventually go on to the commutator so the exercise in here what we need to do to make sure this is running nice and smoothly is to physically remove this motor the electric brake uh, the complete motor off and dismantle it and I think that's what we're going to do I as well need to remove the wheel to make it easier to take this off so we're just going to dismantle this now we'll show you how to dismantle this and then we'll show you how to dismantle the motor but before we do anything the important thing is is to mark everything with a, a felt tip pen mark along here mark along there mark at the back as well so when we get to put this back we ensure that this is pointing in the right direction and we we'll dismantle the motor and put it all back together it's exactly the same way as is when we took it off right, I'm going to remove the wheel Don't lose a Woodruff key here again because if you lose that it won't work once you put it back together again. So that's the motor here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some marks on here. I'm also going to put some marks on the back. So now that's always going to be the top. You know, I've got the sticker there in it. If you're not sure what I recommend you do is you're going to put so, take some pictures with your camera to ensure that when you put it back together it's exactly the same way what I'm going to do now is remove the motor And gently remove that there now one thing here that you need to watch is this piece here now don't lose that now in amongst that it's supposed to in here it's supposed to be a small piece of metal actually it's come off and it's in here so that will then have to be reinserted back in there do not lose it otherwise it'll no work yeah, it's there electric brake wire and the motor now that's it off that's the electric brake here what we're going to do now is we're going to dismantle this and I'll show you the commentator <laughs> 